today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with a collab video and today I am collabing with Ira Ira I am so sorry if I pronounce your name wrong she is from Russia and I don't know how to pronounce it in my Swedish way I would say Ira but it's maybe it's Ira I don't know I'm so sorry and she is from Russia and she asked me if I wanted to do a collab with her and I said yes because I love doing collabs we have pretty different channels because mine is mostly about makeup and putting on makeup as you know and she has a different channel than me she also do some get rid with me's and stuff like that and also some makeup videos but she is Mainly focusing on two things, I would say. She has a year-long no-buy and I am so impressed. Me, myself, I'm doing a low-buy and that is hard. But she's doing a no-buy. I am, I am so impressed with people that can do a no-buy year. So she's doing that and that is so cool. cool. She, she is halfway through. And she also do like this expose videos that is about the Russian community, beauty community. She also does it with the other, like the American beauty community as well. But she talks a little bit about the Russian beauty community and I like to watch exposed videos, but not when they just throw shit on everybody, but she do it in a good way and she is really good like talking so you get the whole picture and this is, I think it's fun to watch because I don't always want to watch just makeup videos. So you should check her out. I will of course leave her channel up here, also down in the description and also her video. And we are doing a collab when we are going to discuss some new makeup releases. So I have chosen some things, she has chosen some things and then if we would if we wanted to talk about some other stuff, we could do that as well. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to talk about stuff we have picked out together. So yeah, I think we're just going to start to discuss these things and I will put on pictures. So I will scooch a little bit and then we just hop into this video. Okay, so I'm going to talk about six things and we can start or maybe seven. It will be six or seven. We can start with the thing that I... Um, Maybe I should scooch to that. Should say. Um, we can start with the thing that I think is the most boring thing. Um, Kylie Cosmetics is releasing their summer palette. I like can't. If it's, if you don't like the Kardashians or Kylie, she's a Jenner. This isn't anything fun. This feels like thing for her fans. And I am not one of her fans. So I like... I don't get it. It's nothing special. I don't think if there, this wasn't Kylie Cosmetics. This would just be like something that people didn't even know. Maybe I feel like this because I don't like the Kardashians. But... It feels like the most of her stuff people only like because it's Kardashian and Jenner. And like the front of the packaging, or the packaging, the palette, is this supposed to be like a coral reef? Looks like fungus or something. I don't know who did this packaging, but it was not good. So I am like not interested at all of buying this and hell to no. The other thing is Kim Kardashian's, is it KKW, Kim Kardashian West's, she released a body foundation. And I tried to discuss this with my boyfriend and he was like, what? I don't get it. No. Are people so insecure of their skin on their whole body that they want to put on foundation? 
people shouldn't be so insecure and I, I I don't get it I can understand if you want to like put some shimmers like on your shoulders or anything when you have like a dress that is like this I think that can look good but to have a whole body foundation no why would you want this I don't get it I I really don't get it I who and what if like you put on that it's supposed to be sweat proof I think or at least waterproof but like if you have your bra strap and it's like this is it going to shave off the foundation then it would look even more strange so no I don't get this I'm sorry Kim Kardashian I don't get who you think would want this no and another thing this is from iconic London they are coming out with brow silk um, and this is inspired by the old Hollywood trick of using soap to set your brows in place and I'm like yeah but you can just buy soap why would you buy a product for 28 dollars when a soap I guess you can buy a soap for like less than one dollar I don't get this and I don't get the brow soap thing some people can really pull it off I could not do it because I have to light off brow but I have never been interested and when this first came I was like who wants soap brows so I, I really don't get it not at all and like this no it's like the most expensive soap ever okay maybe not but <laughs> so unnecessary okay what do we have more we can go into Ignatius cosp oh Jesus Christ Igneous cosmetics they I, I think this is not their first release they are releasing a uh, some new green shadows and it feels like green is like the new thing now everything everything everybody's doing green and this is the go green collection and I think this actually looks cute even though I think they look pretty toned down the most of the colors and I have nothing against it but I think when you're doing like a go green collection something should pop Maybe you do a lime green or you do like a super super light green or like a pastel green. Maybe this is the picture but I like can't see it in here. I think they should have done something more like poppin' to really have one shade that stands out. It feels a little bit meh. It looks good but I think it's lacking some pop if you get what I mean. Nabla is releasing two mini palettes. These are their first mini palettes and they are called Cutie. I think if you are going to do a mini palette I think that should be more fun than like a whole palette. If you want to do something mini of something I think that should be like the crazy colors, the more super dark colors. Not the natural because if you want the natural you can buy their uh, dreamy palette for example but to do like this mini palette and do something natural I don't really get it and it feels like at least one of th on the top it like seems to be only shimmer shades I don't get it but in the one on the bottom that red shape the red one the middle and top row that looks pretty cool and that coral amber down in the right corner but I think they should have done something more fun I think that Nabla needs to do more fun things like bright things because they are really good with the color the colors they have and their single shadows are like amazing so I am a little bit disappointed but people 
did go apeshit over this. I, I don't get it. If I'm going to buy a mini palette, I want something more bright and poppin' because I maybe buy a mini palette. If I should buy a mini palette, I want it to be like I can pair it with like all the palettes I have to give it some pop. So if I'm going somewhere and I want to take a neutral palette. But then I want something more. I can take like this mini palette instead of taking a big colorful palette. So I think it's lacking some pop and some color. I really hope you understand what where I'm getting with this. Because I can't talk today. So yeah, I think they're missing something. They're missing something fun and poppin. And then Elf is coming out with something that I want to try. They're coming out with the jelly pop <laughs> and if you have seen my makeup i want to buy maybe raved a little bit about the bear with me primer from nyx and this is like a whole line of jelly pop like jelly things like blushes and glasses and everything i would love to try some of these the only thing is when elf is coming with these kinds of stuff they never come to sweden i don't know why but i think this is fun. I don't know why, but I like jelly. I hate to eat jelly, but I like... I like it. I think I like the packaging. I usually don't like these tube things on too many things. But with this jelly pop, I think it goes good with the theme. And I like that like everything has almost the same color. I think this is fun. I want this one. I don't know why I have, I have such an obsession with jelly things. I don't know, but I have for some reason. And the last two things. I am going to talk a little bit about the battle between the yellow palettes. We can start with Midas Cosmetics Lemonade. I... First of all, I like... I love yellow shadows, if you didn't know. Yellow, not jelly. Yellow shadows. But when I saw this palette at first, I was like, the packaging is horrible. This big, big white frame around, it looks so ugly. And I usually aren't like, I usually don't care about the packaging that much. But I don't like, it's too much packaging and too little shadows when you first look at it. But the colors... It feels like the four yellow ones are so, so similar. And I can put up the swatch as well. And they look so similar on this. And I don't know. It, it shouldn't be hard to do a yellow palette. Yellow can be so much different type of yellow. But this is like... Meh. It seems like they've swatched one, two, three... Four, five, six different colors, not nine. So I am not impressed by it because the four yellows look like the same color. The one on the top has nothing to do with yellow and then they have love like a brown. I don't get this palette. And then to the other yellow palette, the O, oh, okay. Uh huh, honey. I can't say it in normal words. <laughs> From Colourpop. I love that Colourpop are doing this monochromatic palettes. And I think they usually do it pretty good. The red palette was like... I wasn't impressed by that so much. Because it felt too like the same red. But this yellow palette was even more boring. And I have the feeling that Colourpop... It has been so popular... And I think they have sold out, like, with every release on their new monochromatic. So it feels like they, oh, we have to do all the colors at once. So they don't have the time to think about the col color story. I just don't feel it with this. I don't know what they have done. I love that Colourpop do these monochromatic palettes, but not in this way. I think that the pink one was great, the purple one I don't have, but it looks great. I have the Just My Luck, the green one. It is amazing. And the blue also look really good. 
but this one and the red one they lost it somewhere at line online and I was so happy when they were like we are going to, or I was expecting a yellow palette to be good like to be great and I was like I think I'm going to buy when they release a monochromatic yellow palette and this then this came and I was like I'm not going to buy the yellow monochromatic palette and it makes me a little bit sad because yellow is very close to my heart and that was everything <laughs> for this video don't forget to check out Ira 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 don't forget to check her out and see what she thinks about this stuff and do you agree with me or do you disagree with me tell me in the comments and yeah this was everything for this video and thank you for collabing with me and I really hope you liked this video and if you don't subscribe to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one bye